Well guys, welcome back. And if you can tell from all that racket, I have slapped a new end can on the beast. And it is nothing less than spectacular. So if you're interested to hear what the Austin Racing V3 Mini sounds like, although you've heard a lot of it already, then uh, stay tuned because we're going to go out for a bit of a little spin. We're going to rip some flybys and just general, general hooning around and just to give you an insight on what it sounds like on the 2020 KTM Super Duke. Arr. Now definitely no heroics today because I'm scrubbing in the new Michelin Power 5s. They are brand spankers. This is the first time I've even been out. They're still bloody shiny. So uh, can't go too mental with it, but I just wanted to get out. Yeah, so Austin Racing have now come on board and if you stick around to the end of the video I shall give you a discount code if you're interested in getting one for your particular machine. Now in my opinion Austin Racing have got the best sounding pipes for this particular bike or V-Twins in general. They sound absolutely fantastic. Now normally what I've done with exhaust videos is done a bit of an install video but it's really not difficult to install it on this bike, it's just two screws, two bolts and you just whip the thing off. Damn it, there's some people here. It's a shame. Well that is one big pile of shit. I wanted to use that strip up there, but there's some uh, people walking their dogs in a car, so I don't want to be causing any havoc. So uh, what we'll do we do is just pull up here and give you a quick look at it and do a bit of a sound check here. So there she is, the Austin Racing V3 Mini. Now this is a 200 millimeter um, end can. It's just the end can. Um, Unfortunately, as I've mentioned on uh, many other videos, full systems, D-cats and all that bits and, bits and bobs is highly illegal here. So we can only do end cans, but what a massive difference that thing makes. It's, I've never had an Austin Racing um, exhaust before, but the, 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 the difference that just an end can makes from Austin Racing is, is phenomenal. So as I said before, the install is really not difficult. You just have to undo this one bolt here for that sort of uh, clamp there, and this one bolt here, which is releases it from the bracket at the top, and then you just pull it out. So it's really not a difficult job. Again, on these, um, if you're wondering about price, it's a kind of a pro from and to um, thing. I think they start at 399 pounds. Depends how you want it to look. Now I've gone with the color laser etched um, logo with black can and an orange um, sort of end tip now you can change all that how you want it you can have this part here in black if you wanted to as well you can have titanium um, all kinds of different bits and bobs so i'll stick a link to the um to the website in the description and you can you can make the exhaust how you uh how you want it you can customize it a bit so the price is kind of from too but they start at 399 bucks that's enough rambling on there's nobody here so let's make a bit of a racket Absolutely mind blowing. Let's see if I can get you a bit of a bit of a tick over sound. Very deep, very throaty. And then when you give it the pasty, Now I should add that this is the road legal version, so this comes with E-type approval, 
comes with paperwork as well it's got the e-number stamped on the exhaust and on your document so if you do get pulled by the rosars then you are covered now i did have to check that because from how it sounds i was like there's no way that can be legal but i can assure you it is well folks it looks like i'm gonna have to leave the um the flybys because i don't want to be pissing anybody off because people will phone the coppers if they see me setting up cameras and rinsing it up and down a road around here god and now i'm gonna run out of fuel this is just not meant to be i am absolutely um astounded by the sound of this pipe it is probably the best exhaust best end can i've put on a bike now i said at the start of the video if you uh, were watching till the end and you were interested in getting an austin racing cam for your bike that you would get a little discount code so i put that up on screen now and i'll put a link or the the uh, the code also in the description below so you can check that out for yourselves again the links to austin racing's website is also in the description so jump on there check it out if you are interested in getting one for your bike so this can will be definitely staying on the bike and will be featuring in many more videos to come now as we um head into winter there's not going to be much uh i could probably do it on there or not it's not long enough Yeah, I'm going to have to leave it there for now guys, hopefully the audio has been coming out pretty good, I've been using a sound recorder in my backpack to pick up the exhaust zone, so hopefully it's come out well on the video anyway, I will have to leave the flybys for another time. Thank you all for watching, if you are interested in getting an Austin Racing can, you really will not be disappointed, as I said links are in the description, and make sure you use your discount code to get your cheeky bit of discount. I am going to head on home because I'm freezing my nuts off and I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy guys. I've got zero kilometres left on my fuel range. Ah, I don't want to run out. Look like a right pleb. <laughs>